Greetings, my unbelievable V family. Welcome to week 27. Self recording my Wednesday message again. Focusing on the camera. All right, guys, um, I miss you guys. Okay, it's been a crazy week 26. The closing week of rank advancement. Now we are in a brand new rank month. This is the first week of rank month and week 27. All right. Again, we are under some kind of lockdown in Malaysia. Very strict. I'm at home, been on Zoom, 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 Zoom calls. All right. Spending a lot of time getting guidance from the one and only Dato Sri Vijay. All right. And guys, we have so much to look forward to. VCon Connect is around the corner, October 9th. So whatever your plans are, October 9th, 10, 11, cancel it. All right, it's going to be VCon. And I want you guys to understand that the most important element of VCon, the most important element of being there, it is no longer a choice. You see, previously I used to tell people, hey, VCon, think about it, come. Now I tell people, you must come. That VCon is no longer a choice, it is a necessity. It is part of that journey of yours for your breakthrough, for your paradigm shift, much required paradigm shifts to get you to the place you are supposed to be so that your checks go up, your organization grows, everything changes. And I'm not talking about one VCon. I'm talking about every VCon that the V ever hosts. You must be part of it. So remember this, VCon, whether it's physical VCon in Malaysia or anywhere in the world, whether it's VCon Connect, it is no longer a choice. It is a necessity. It's part of your journey. It's part of your growth, your breakthrough. The only platform where you get to see these two great men speak to you. Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran in the house, guys. Vicon Connect 9, 10, 11 October. Cancel everything if you're getting married. Postpone your marriage. So after Vicon you will be even more switched on to get married and provide your partner with financial freedom with the paradigm shifts you've gone through, guys. Welcome to week 27. A lot of exciting things happening all around the world. And this week, I, I, I want to convey a very important message. Now, some of you may not know this, but throughout my journey of being a, a networker, becoming a V partner, all right, which was the most amazing day of my life when Dato and uh, Japa invited me to be standing by their side as a V partner, guys, okay, dream come true. And then being given the responsibility as chief, all right, and today representing these two great men throughout my 23 years of being your upline, I have realized that there's some of my messages which you just heard Okay, some of my trainings that accidentally fell into your hands. Now, please understand that every message I convey to you through my Wednesday message, through my Instagram live, through the multitude of videos, including the new eight basic building blocks on YouTube, all right, is based on my learnings, my experience being a very grateful downline to Dato Sri Vijay. Spending that hours, spending that days, personally as a mentee and him as my mentor being in his zone guys now the purpose i exist is because datu sri vijay cannot talk personally to the millions of people he has around the world as members of his family so he speaks through us the lucky ones who had the opportunity to be guided to be mentored by him and along the way i've sort of taken his messages 
and put it into Patman language, okay, or Chief's language, which if you don't understand the way I communicate, communicate things, I feel very sorry for you. Alright guys, because I try to keep it simple. So today on this Wednesday message, I want to keep my message simple, but take it seriously. This is fundamental. Alright, now throughout your very short journey, one day, one week, one month, or one year, or 10 years with us on this journey uh, with QNet, the V, you have learned a lot. You have realized a lot. You are doing a lot. But I want to simplify it for you, all right? And expand a little bit on what I spoke about on my Instagram live. So I'm trying to have a connectivity and flow. Instagram live, I simply said, if you do not decide that you want success, if you do not decide, all right, passionately, fanatically, ferociously, emotionally, spiritually, that you want financial freedom, that you want to achieve that success, everything you do is a waste of time. Make that decision first. And wake up and smell the coffee that if you make that decision for financial freedom, for success, it will require sacrifice. So don't blow up the sacrifice thing so much. Oh, I made so many sacrifices and I gave up my life. No. All right? This is just normal stuff for anyone who wants to achieve greatness, it will require sacrifice. So don't amplify the sacrifice. Amplify the desire for max out. Amplify the desire for financial freedom, making your dreams into a reality. Sacrifice is just part of the journey. Ask your mother. Your mother will not brag about the sacrifices she makes, but there is no greater sacrifice than the sacrifice of a mother. So if they don't brag about it and complain and cry about it, why should you? Now, along this journey, many things are important. But please understand, and I want to remind you again, and listen very carefully, in 2007, when we had VCon in Indonesia, Jakarta, it was a life-changing VCon for many of us. And many of you watching me today, the Max Out Kings and Queens, you are products of that VCon, 2007. At that VCon, I realized that we were giving so many messages to you, that you were taking all these messages and it was so complicated that you didn't actually know, hey, what should I do? I know so much. I, I found my dream. I know how to create a nameless. Uh, I know this business is great. I know network marketing is the future. I know I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, Chief said, I got to make a decision and make sacrifice. I know all these things, but nobody tells me what to do. So today, this is your chief, your upline, representing the great ones, Japaras, Bismarck, and Dato Sri Vijay. And I want to make it very simple. Regardless of how long you've been with us, regardless of the size of your check, regardless of whether you are brand new, just signed up 30 minutes ago, and you are watching me right now, all right? Listen very carefully. In 2007, I realized that everyone is so easily distracted in network marketing with so many aspects of network marketing. Because please understand, network marketing is a beautiful world to live in. It's full of positivity. It's full of new friendships, new beginnings. It's a form of escapism from the brutal truth of your pathetic existence of Gorwa Kamekom, Gorwa Kamekom, Gorwa Kamekom, Gorwa Kamekom, die broke, all right? And here it's about inspiration and hope and vision and uh, listening to success stories from all over the world, hearing zeros become heroes, hearing from people who didn't have money to eat today, driving Rolls Royce and Ferraris. It's an inspiring place to be. But the challenge is when people fall in love with network marketing, but not fall in love with the original purpose of network marketing. Network marketing is not here to make you feel good. Network marketing is not here to fill up a void in your heart. Network marketing is a fantastic, unbelievable, proven vehicle, business model that can help you make a lot of money and achieve great success and most importantly, help other people 
make money and teach people how to be entrepreneurs. All right. And it's a great platform for you to evolve and change and become uh, more humble, but more in realization of your true potential. It's a powerful platform. And the challenge is the people who linger in network marketing without understanding what they're supposed to do. So let me tell you what you're supposed to do. All right. And you don't have to take notes, but this is very simple. You heard it a million times from me. But today I want you to listen carefully. This is me speaking to you as an upline. And I want you to empty your cup and listen. Because this message for the next few minutes is going to decide the outcome of your existence in this realm of network marketing, in this world of QNet. Because you don't want to exist in QNet, all right, and not have a desired outcome. Don't make this your social club. Don't make this your escape um, fantasy world from the harsh truths of reality that you need money to pay bills, that you need money to make your dreams become a reality, that you need money to help others around you. All right? You don't hide away from your responsibility of the people you referred and you signed up, that you're supposed to hold their hand, guide them, push them out of their comfort zone every single day so that they achieve some level of greatness that they are meant to achieve on this journey of network marketing. So let's figure this out. Now, what is the final ultimate outcome? The final ult ultimate outcome is something called financial freedom. What is financial freedom? Very simple. You wake up in the morning and you reach a point in your life where you never, ever worry about money anymore. All right? Now, I know it's so simple. It sounds moronic, but it's the truth. It is the greatest feeling ever. Don't focus on the quantum. It could be a million dollars. It could be $10 million. It could be $100 million. But as long as you reach a point of financial stability, independence, where you never, ever have to worry about money and your lifestyle is of a standard that inspires others to follow. So don't fall into this trap that you made $100,000 and you go to your smallest village in your country, build a hut and use that $100,000 very carefully by eating just plain rice and soya sauce for the rest of your life and say, I'm financially free. That's not the definition. The definition of financial freedom in network marketing is living the life, all right? Being comfortable, being able to provide, having your dream car, dream house, everything, all right? And still not worry about money. That's the financial freedom I'm talking about. Not the kumbaya financial freedom. This is the real financial freedom. All right? And that's your goal. And to achieve any form of financial freedom, it requires you to earn money. All right? And don't please misinterpret me and think, oh, why is Chief only talking about money? Hey, guys, Dato Sri talks about financial freedom. Japa talks about financial freedom. All the V partners are living proof of people who believe in this God-given right for us to be able to earn money. All right? So wake up and smell the coffee. This is not a social club. This is a place for you to work hard, pay the price, make the sacrifices and make money. And most importantly, teach, guide and help others to make money. So we have come to an agreement. All right, that if your purpose here is to make money, and remember the speeches you gave to your family when you first signed up, remember how you told your friends, one day I'm going to walk down the street as a millionaire. Remember driving past your dream condominium, looking at your dream car in the showroom, looking at your dream watch, you know, whatever it is. The promises you made to your husband, to your wife, to your kids, to your parents. All right? I remember telling a group, I think Brijesh's group or somebody's group, I told them, buy a car, get a driver, make sure you give it to your mother first. All right? Because guys, that's why we start this journey. We started this journey in 1998, Japa and Datu Sri, to empower people to reach points of financial freedom so that they can change more lives and change the world. But this cannot be done by talk alone. You need that weekly check. 
And that weekly check needs to keep growing and growing and growing. Now, if it's $2,000 now, fantastic. If it's two fifty dollars and you're watching this video, it's okay. If your check is zero, you just got started, no problem. If your check was high and it dropped, no problem. If your check is growing and growing like crazy right now, congratulations. If you're maxing out every single week consistently, I love you. Next packing center, let's get started. But bottom line, what's the source? That anything you do, everything you know, leads back to the most fundamental point. And I don't want you to forget this. I don't want you to allow your organization to forget this. And I am the one painfully have to remind you every single once in a while that the most important thing is a touch point where one of your downlines picks up the phone and calls a prospect and does the presentation. And if it's a yes, they come. If it's a no, you go to the next one. And this never must stop. This is the most important aspect of network marketing. Presentation, presentation, presentation. 2007, I launched a program called Rule 3 that I said you cannot exist in QNET unless you do a minimum of 15 presentations a month consistently. Then some people said too many, I can do. Or some people said too little, I can do more. Then some people said, Chief, my system is fine too and tell them to fine too. Doesn't matter. Just make sure the culture of presentation is the number one fundamental culture in your organization. That every Tom, Dick and Sally in your organization understands that they exist in this world of QNet. They exist in the world of network marketing with one goal to make sure that every single person who signs up understands that the only time they get paid is when somebody goes out there and does a presentation, signs somebody up and bring them into the system. Now, once they come into the system, they must understand that the only thing is matters is for them to immediately learn and do the presentation. Find to activate in 48 hours, non-negotiable. That was my rule. I will tell people a monkey in a coma can activate in 48 hours. Can you imagine if every single sign up that comes into your organization believes and understands that the ultimate benchmark, the basic fundamental benchmark is for them to find two in 48 hours, hot zone like that. We all have two people who will never say no to us, but do the presentation and then don't stop. And when you do your TAT, at play with your TAT. The ultimate TAT is the commission. But you can add so many layers to your TAT from BVs, cash out lake, power lake, all right, number of presentations, all right, rank advancement, okay, attending system, attending week on your TAT can be 10 items reduced to one and then go to three, then go to two, whatever. But guys, don't bullshit yourself. Everything in network marketing is beautiful, all right. But the most important thing to keep it beautiful, the most important thing to keep it real is that you understand that the ultimate activity, the most important activity, the only activity that defines the strength of your organization and the potential of the commissions earned by your people is an activity called presentation. And I don't say presentation, presentation, presentation for the fun of it. It is the most important activity. So week 27, wake everyone up. Remind them all, remind yourself how you got where you are today or how you're going to get to the level of a VP, all right? How you're going to get to become a max out king and queen. There is only one answer. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Don't live a lie. The only truth is the only way to be successful to be a max out king and queen in this business is by focusing on one activity, one culture, one message. Presentation, presentation, presentation. I love you guys.